Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how chronic stress literally destroys your immune system. And this is very interesting. I'm taking this little section out of this book right here, Sibba Collection of Medical Illustrations, Endocrine System and Selected Metabolic Diseases by Frank Netter, MD, page 84, under the section on cortisol. Okay, he's talking about the function of cortisol and what happens if you have too much cortisol, which is activated by stress. So I wrote down the board exactly what it says. Diverts amino acids from lymphoid tissue, leading to a marked reduction in size and to actual lysis of the nodes. Now let me explain what this means. So lymphoid tissue is your lymphatic system. You have lymph nodes and the lymphatic system is, you can look at it like an extension of your, your circulatory system, where you have the heart that pumps the blood and so part of that blood gets absorbed in the tissues and turns into lymph that then goes to what's called the lymphatic system. Now you don't have a pump to push this system. So you wanna look at it like a drainage system. And so all this lymph comes up through the body and it gets dumped back into the vascular system. Without this system, you could have a lot of edema in the tissues, but it also is an area where you have a lot of immune reactions to keep these pathogens away from different organs. So this is why your glands might swell up and they help protect you. So that's what the lymphoid tissue is leading to a mark. That means noticeable or prominent reduction in the size and to actual lysis, which means breakdown of the nodes. We're talking about the lymph nodes. And lymph nodes are the location of where the immune reaction takes place. So you have the white blood cells in there and you also have the pathogen. So high cortisol will divert amino acids from the lymphatic system, leading to a noticeable reduction in size to actual breakdown of the lymph nodes. So basically it shrinks your lymphatic system. Now this is not good because now you're gonna lose your defense mechanism. It's making your immune system smaller. Next one says this, this is accompanied by a marked in this context, we're talking about something that is distinctive and emphasized, okay? So by a marked decrease in overall antibody production. Now, antibodies are those things that are produced by your immune system that helps develop immunity. Antibodies don't necessarily kill, but they actually put a tag or a little indicator on the pathogen for other immune cells to kill them. So if you have enough antibodies in your system, you are protected. But with high cortisol, you have a decrease in overall antibody production, which together with a breakdown in inter and intracellular, that means between the cells and within the cells. Okay, and then we're talking about barriers. So you have various barriers of immune defense. In this case, high cortisol creates a breakdown in your cellular barriers, which is gonna raise your susceptibility to viral and bacterial infections. So I just want to emphasize this very important factor in keeping your immune system strong. It's not just about nutrition. It's also about keeping your stress as low as possible. So if you haven't seen my video on how to do that, I put it right here. Check it out.